Hello, my name is Matt. And my name's Jordan, and thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. Yay. I never thought that like we'd have even 100 people that wanted to watch our videos. I know, it's We've amazing. We've got 50,000 people. Oh, so to celebrate, um, we're releasing a new map that we've been working on for a bit. It's called Ghostbusters. Um, we're going to go into a bit more detail in this video about it because there's a bit more to it than other mini games. There's quite a bit to explain. So we're going to go and explain about it now. Each game lasts six minutes. Two people play as the Ghostbusters, everyone else plays as the undead. The objective is simple. The Ghostbusters have to capture all of the undead by killing them, and the undead have to try and either kill the Ghostbusters or survive long enough for the timer to run out. However, there are a few twists. Three undead can release captured undead by standing on the capture point outside the prison for a few seconds. This only releases one player, however, so it would have to be done multiple times to release more players. You may have noticed zombies wandering around the map in the clips in this video. The Ghostbusters can kill them to gain more time. If one Ghostbuster gains 20 kills, they gain one extra minute of game time. Keep in mind that this is only on one Ghostbuster, so that if one, one of them has 10 kills and another has 10 kills, that wouldn't count. 20 kills have to be on one person. Also, each Ghostbuster only has one life each, so if they die, they are out of the game and cannot rejoin. Additionally, the undead can choose to play as one of three different classes. The Sprinter is a fast but weak class with a knockback sword, best of distraction and releasing captured undead. The Jumper is a medium armoured undead capable of jumping really high, best at escaping and harassment. The Tank is a heavily armoured brute with a strong attack, but is weak on its own, best at crowd control and defending allies. When an undead is freed from the prison, they can change their class if they want. On a final note, dotted around the map are vending machines giving food and enderpearls. Everyone can get food, however only Ghostbusters can get enderpearls. Also on the opposite side of the map to the prison is a health booth, healing anyone who stands on it to full health. And that pretty much covers it. Um, download link will be in the description. Thanks again for 50k subs. And we'll see you in the next video guys.